going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. G'day, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans, and today I've got a really exciting one for you. We've got a brand new Blue Healer. This is the Blue Healer Free Camp Edition, 18 foot 6 in this size. I'll start at the front, show you some of the differences between this one and the previous models, and we'll go right through it. Okay, like I said, we'll start at the front. Biggest thing you're going to see straight away is this Raptor colour. So I've gone with a little bit out there with this one. We've gone with a bright blue Raptor coat. I think it looks fantastic. I understand it's probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but for me, I think it's beautiful. I hope some other people out there think the same. They come in a lot of different, a lot of other different colours. Black will be their standard, but we do have the option of going with some different colour Raptor coats, and that's just a good example of it. Free Camp Edition has been around for a while, and it comes with a lot of standard features, like 250 litres of water, 130 litre grey water tank, and a whole heap of other features. But this new one has got some more features on top of that. The first one being this new toolbox. Well, it's not really a new toolbox, but it is for the Blue Healer. So this is actually the Phoenix, the previous Phoenix models toolbox. So I've made this standard on the Free Camp Edition. We have a look inside here, we've got our two nine kilo gas bottles behind this place here. We've got storage on this side and a generator slide on that side. That is all standard now on this new Free Camp Edition. Of course, we've got a composite construction. As, all, as with all the Sunlands these days, we use this um, foam core composite construction for the walls and the roof, one piece roof. Very, very light, very strong, very few joints, so a lot less chances of water leak. It's all bonuses, it's all good all the way through. Tunnel boots, so we use these Coast 4 doors for our tunnel boots. These are a huge size. I don't put a barbecue in this one standard. This is optional, but we have quite a few different options when it comes to slide out kitchens and barbecues and, and storage trays. So it's really up to the owner or the buyer to what we do in there. Manual awning, I still think the manual awnings are the best, believe it or not. Very few problems with them. Very, very sturdy, especially if you're in a high wind situation. Double windows, it's gonna be standard on the new Blue Healer as well. These are these new windows that I've talked about in previous, um, uh, videos, the, the Aussie Traveller windows, nice flush mount, dark tint too, I think they look really, really good. They've got a smaller power on the inside too, so they don't take up as much room. They're just all good. As we come down the side of the van, we've got our entertainment hatch as we've always had. So in here we've got our 12 volt power, we've got our 240 power, and we've got a TV bracket. So all you need to do is lift the TV off the wall inside, put it on out here, and you can, you can watch your TV outside. We'll go around to the back of the van. So some things haven't changed, some things have. This is one area that hasn't really changed too much. We've still got our shower with our built-in seat inside the van, which then allows us to put all our plumbing and our hot water system in the back here. So we've got a Gerard instant gas hot water system there, our two water pumps, so 190 litre general purpose, 60 for a drink, filter drinking. There's our filter there as well. We even fitted a red water valve as standard in this model as well. I'll give you a diagram on how to operate all that. The rear bumper has got a hammertone finish, so powder coated in a hammertone finish. It's a pole carrier with your built-in tail lights, which are LEDs, and your number plate surround and lights. On this particular one, I've put these bin rails. These won't be standard, but you can certainly have them if you like. I like the idea of being able to hang our rubbish bag on the back here, and sort of fills this back wall a little bit better, and it looks, I think it looks a fair bit better as well. Our 240 power inlet. As we come around to the side here, we've got our new lithium batteries. So these new lithium batteries are now 225 amp hours each. So this one comes with 450 amp hours standard, but we have the provision and the space there to fit a lot more too, so we can certainly option it up. On, top, on the roof here, we have two 200 amp, um, watt solar panels. And if we go to this compartment here, we now do a 3000 watt multi, um, multi plus inverter standard, plus our, our control box there. So this control box here will give you your solar regulators, um, your different Anderson plug configurations and even a built-in DC to DC charger as well, which is fantastic if you want to be able to charge your van while you're towing it. We've got our water inlets on the side here. We've got a grey water tank there, but the best bit about this I think is all inside, so let's go and have a look inside. Okay, so we'll start at the inside, um, start at the front of the, um, this van. Like I said, there's a few changes. This is an 18 foot 6 van. So with an 18 foot 6 van, we do have the slightly shorter mattress. This mattress is 1880 long and the 1530, which is a standard queen size width. It is still a pillar top inner spring mattress, which a lot of people love. If you want to go to the full size mattress, uh, which is 2030, 150 mil longer, you do need to go up into the 19 foot six or the 20 foot six variant to be able to achieve that. One of the big differences I've done with this new Blue Healer Free Camp Edition is the lighting. So you'll see here, much like the Phoenix X, we've got our strip lighting across the top here. We've got lighting, um, strip lighting underneath here as well. This lights up really, really well. These lights actually have a two stage so, um, 
light so you can go dimmer if you, if you prefer, but perfect if you want to read while you're in bed. We have got our CP, CPAP cutouts in the sides of the robes with 240 and 12 volt power in both, both robes there. In this one, I've got one shelf and hanging space, but you can have just shelves or just hanging if you like. That's purely up to you. Come with a big drawer underneath each robe there as well. And as I said, when we're outside, the new windows, new Aussie Traveller windows, so we've got those new windows that look quite different on the outside, but they also look different on the inside. These are a much smaller pelmet box than the previous one. Still very easy to operate and get to the mechanism. You just pop that open. As you can see, a full block out blind and a midgy-proof fly screen there as well. We've also got Sirocco fan. We've got a Max Fan Deluxe hood on the top there. So this is a fan that can push air in or suck air out. Has got a hood so it can be used when it's raining. Fantastic hatch, although it's called the Max Fan Deluxe. We have got the Dometic dust reduction hatch, which is right above the camera now, so you'll see that in a later shot. Cafe Dynetic standard in all these models, so we've gone with our, um, with our proper genuine Italian leather. We've got our table pod here, which gives you 12 volt outlets, um, your battery monitor, your inverter controls, your water tank, and 240 outlets there as well. Got some slight changes here with the, the, the galley. So in this, in this case, we've gone with a black tap wear and sink throughout the van. This, this sink here to save space with the bench, we've gone with a smaller draining board. I think this works really well. It's not gonna be great for putting poles of um, dishes up there, but if you've just got cups and glasses and stuff like that, that's perfect. And it gives you that little bit extra bench space. Colors choice is obviously optional. We've gone with this gray color, which I think looks quite good. We've got a new box here behind the TV, which will get you your 240 power in there and your TV bracket attached. We've got 240 power down this end of the kitchen as well, so you've got no lack of power points. In fact, you've got power points either side of the bed, you've got power points either side of the, the galley, you've got a power point, um, 240 power point at the kitchen, and you've got one in the ensuite too. So really, there isn't anywhere else we could fit power points inside this van, which is always a strong request. We've got lights above, again, like the front, and we have over, um, uh, lights under these overhead cupboards too. So you've got a nice light while you're working in here. It's not coming from behind you, so you don't create a shadow while you're working. Of course, we've got a light here for the range hood as well. Microwave, it is a little bit higher than higher this microwave than the Phoenix, but we're working with a much smaller environment, only being 18 foot six, so that's where it is in this one. We've got our stereo and water pump controls up here. We've got a charging station here, which has 240 power and 12, um, 12 volt power, plus a USB to be able to run music straight to your stereo as well. All flush cabinetry throughout. I love the graphite color they've gone here with the darker edge banding. All soft close drawers throughout. Kit, a slide out kitchen here. Under the sink, you also have a shelf, two shelves really, plenty of storage room underneath there as well. But the biggest difference in this van is actually probably all to do with the ensuite. So I'm going to step into the ensuite and hopefully Michael can get some good shots of this because it is a fair bit different than their previous models. So let's have a look. And bear in mind this is 18 foot 6, so this is the smallest of this layout that we'll do. We've gone, there's the new flash cabinet, cabinetry in the ensuite. As you can see, we've gone with a ceramic bowl above the, the bench. We've still, we've done this by having two drawers either side, so we still have the room for the drain to go in between. But you can see we've got an abundance of drawers. Previously, the 18 foot six had no drawers whatsoever. So you've got two big ones in there, two small ones. We've got a backlit mirror, plus a light, a light on the overhead cupboard, plus a light up here, so heaps of lighting. We've got a front load washing machine mounted here on the wall, which we get a lot of requests for these. So that's here. We've got overhead cupboards. We've never had more storage in an 18 foot six ensuite ever. We've also got our um, shower, which is a full one piece mold of shower with a seat with the sloping floor so it drains properly. And we've got our lightweight screen door there. These, these work really, really well. They clean themselves or they the wipe water off as they go back, roll back into their cassette. They've got a little squeegee blazer there. What I like about that screen door is that 99% of the time you leave that door open so it's, the shower's always airing out and making this whole room feel a lot bigger. We've got a window above the toilet here, which Michael will show you in a minute. And we've got a brand new hatch above the shower there. These, we've gone away from the Jensen's hatches and we've gone to these Aussie Traveller hatches, which by all accounts, I think are a much better hatch. They're, they're a lot quieter. The screens look a lot easier to clean and keep, keep maintained. And there's a lot more light there in, as well. Okay, so that's the 2024 Blue Healer Free Camp Edition. This is the 18 foot six variant. It does come in 19 foot six, 20 foot six, and 21 foot six as well, if you prefer those sizes but always the same layout. The equipment level is really, really high, but there is still a few options that you can choose if you'd like. We've currently got this van on display at Sunland Caravans here in Caboolture. We will be taking to a few caravan shows this year too, so, have, so if you're going to any of the caravan shows and you want to check it out, please come and see us at our stands. 
as an introductory um, introductory deal to this model, I have kept the pricing the same as the previous model, right? which is a very, very sharp price. The pricing will be going up on this sometime in the next month or two. So if you are in the market for this sort of van, this is the time to be looking at this one. Please give us a call here in the factory if you've got any questions, or you can check us out on Sunland, at sunlandcaravans.com.au, or even go to our Facebook if you prefer. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Australia. They say in Rome, you do as Romans do. And in the States, it's such a bigger show. Old England helped by sending us down here. And now we laugh, our grins from ear to ear. I'm going out back, out back Australia. I'm going out back, out back Australia. We're friends, they will shake your hand, they'll always say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through, they'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you, and one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. Hey, back. So tell your friends this place that you have found And tell the world it's better than it sounds Say so come and see our country's best by far You'll find me there, Where? out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia Where friends they will shake your hand Say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you. And one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. 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 See you there.